This is gonna be system test three. So right here, for um, the pulse for the first pulse station, I have the Simplex 2099-9754, which is what this is now. It is the 2099-9756 um, backplate, but the cover is from the 2099-9795, making it single action. Pretty cool. But that's not the only part of the system that's changed. Whenever I have that up like that without the back box, it's the 2099 9754, because I use the back of the 2099 9756. Right here I have the ESTG1RF- or G1WA- uh, I think G1WA- uh, VMA, I think. Next to it, I have the Simplex or the uh, Pyrotronics HDC-24 with a on a 405080 uh, light plate. And for this system test, we're going to be in the basement only. Yeah. 2901 behind the 2903 plate, still there. I've got the uh, Faraday 6121 with the 405080. This is my second 405080 with the 4051 on the front. And I took out that little chip that's in that middle slot there. I took it out because it was making it sound kind of funny. And it sounds much better than it did in the um, in some previous tests. Over here in this area, I have the EST Genesis strobe. And also, I've still got the uh, ceiling mount specter alert classic uh, horn strobe set up as a remote strobe this test because this is way too loud. Now, you may be concerned. Why are we going in here? Well, because we're going in here because I have an AV32 without the FOS hooked up. So, let's remove a wreck right now. Here's the rest of my smoke detectors in my collection. I have the rest of them upstairs. But yeah, and the panel is set to block test, so yeah. Nothing in this wrecked up bathroom, and the only thing, the only device in here is the 2099-9754. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, get started. We're we're gonna I guess go ahead and key activate this bad boy, and let's see how it works. So to start, we're gonna do strobes and lights. Here we go. Let's go. The system is set to march time. And over here, this Genesis uh, strobe is like code three slash march time. It's like faster. It's like slower. It's like 2001 march time, essentially. Okay, give me 32. That's the Genesis you're seeing right now. There's the 2903. Sorry about that. Slam up there. That made me jump. Spectre alert. Yeah, that strobe won't work right now. Still have the Commander 3 GEC 24. MC, I think. I don't know. The alert Genesis is also not hooked up. That's just for, uh... That's just for the Amber Alert. Okay. So, that's the first part. Now, I will be right back, and I'm going to set the system into code 3. And we will start up the lights and strobes with the horns. Okay, I'm back. The system is now on code three. Here we go. Three, two, one. Or wait, no. Actually, I forgot to mention that the 405080 with the Pyrotronics HDC-24, actually, the light will be a little bit broken. It's, um, when it's set to code three, 
the uh, light, it works like the, um, it works like the uh, FOS, or the uh, AV, the Space Age AV-32, so it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna look nice when it goes off, but here we go. Okay, I had to fight that thing there. Because for some reason the button when it when this thing is on the wall is like 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 does anyone else's T bar do this where it like like it get, it gets like stuck here and then after that it like it doesn't go down all the way. And then you have to It's kinda weird. I think, I feel like it's just mine. It only does it sometimes. Like, if I, if I close it like this, it, it will do that. But if I close it like this, it won't do it. So, I'm going to go set the, the system to everyone's favorite. Continuous. And I'm going to turn off the lights for a uh, dramatic effect. And, yeah. Let's go... Switch off the light in here as well. I forgot how to use the lights in here. Okay. Let's go pull the T bar. Well, after I set it to continuous. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. The system is now in continuous. The most annoying and loud system setting. And right here I have the BG12. Oops. Well, this is one of my second, maybe third favorite pull stations. Pretty cool. I feel like every fire alarm collector has a BG-12. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's pull the T-bar. This is going to be loud. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, that was very loud and especially because that um pyrotronics horn yeah the pyrotronics horn is actually like it's a b2 series 
the, the 405080 is like, the sound is really blocked off by the uh, HDC-24. Pop that light off so you can see some stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it is very, very loud. The 405080 is like, it's not loud, but this is pretty insanely loud. Now really quick, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna hook up this T-bar to the alert setup and we're going to um, we're gonna pull it and then it's gonna set off the strobe. Got the pull station all rewired up. So let's go ahead and let's pull it down. Three, two, one. As you can see, the uh, fire alarms are not going off. Let's reset it. Okay, that was pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and rewire this back to the fire alarms and I'll be right back. Sorry about all the jump cuts. All right, we're back. Finally got this thing wired to the um, actual fire alarm system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>